once once you follow Cigar Boss Man on Instagram. Oh, you already had this planned, huh? You already and then you Cigar Boss all day. Your, my fucking whole um, my whole explore page is just now it's just cigars. Oh, that's fucking Just big, sick. big meaty cigars. Oh, wow. I'd put one between my lips. That's it. I want fucking Cigar Man to fucking put one in my wife. Put a fucking child in there. Like with his wiener? Or yeah, put a little stogie in there. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. That would be sweet, though. I, I would like to... I'd like stogie king to... <laughs> Stick it in. Cigar man. <laughs> Cigar man Stogie. Stogie. <laughs> Mr. Stogie. <laughs> Stogie Stinger. That's <laughs> what they call him. Put that hot rod in my wife. Yeah, let's hear it, Stogie King. Put that hot rod in my wife. No, oh. but so I've been stalking him, and um, he's in, uh, I think he's at some cigar convention with <laughs> a bunch of other, other cigar guys. Where at? Uh, might be in Vegas. Oh, Gotta be in Vegas. God, I would go... I'd fucking. I'd go. Cr- I'd go nuts. I would. I would lose I'd it. I'd go post. I would lose I'd it. I'd fucking kill somebody. I would. I, I would. I'd do it. I would act up, and I don't. I don't like to say I act up very often, but if I was at Las Vegas with Mr. Cigar King himself, I'm gonna act up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna act a fool. <laughs> Come on. Um. No, I thought about something before we started, and now I forget. But it was. Something real good about going postal. Um, what does that mean? You said it. What does going postal mean? Going to the post office and mailing a letter to a okay. family relative okay, member. that makes sense. That or makes going sense. to the post office with a gun and then killing a family or something oh, like that. Oh, <laughs> wow, really? No, I mean, I've heard I've heard of um, like going to like mailboxes and stuff and shooting people. <laughs> but I, I wasn't sure if that's what that meant, if that's like what's... You know, whatever. Anyway, um, I wanted to hear about that uh, robo trip. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I team. just thought of that. Yeah, so this is why I don't I don't advertise on my social about it because I'm going to tell a story like this. So uh, I mean, he's, yeah, you're busy, but I'm going to explain it. So um, I I uh, I had really bad allergies. And this was back, like, I don't, I don't really smoke weed anymore, but I, I used to smoke weed a lot, like, in high school. And um, I smoked weed, and then, like, we had over-the-counter uh, Robitussin, which I don't know. It maybe it wasn't called Robitussin. It was something else, but I didn't know the name of it, but it was just basically, like, cold and flu medicine. Um, I think it, I don't I don't know what I was going through, but it was something that I took it for. I don't remember all of it. Anyways, um... I do remember the experience, and so I uh, I took like like maybe like two shots of Robitussin, and I was like, okay, this feels incredible. Like I felt like euphoria. Like I felt like almost like I was like on a Xanax or something like that, where I like <laughs> you, you know you feel like just amazing. And um, I was like, this is crazy. And so then I drank like a little bit more. And then I kind of went into this place where I didn't realize where I was in terms of like, it was almost like drinking where you kind of forget how many drinks you've had. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so um, I drank, (laughs) I I drank the entire bottle. Was it Um, like as tall as that? Like with the little lid on top? uh, No, probably about half of this. But I mean, no, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, with with the with the lid on top, maybe <clears throat> about that height, you're you're probably right. But like the the the, the contents were not as much mm-hmm. as what a white claw might be. Um, anyways, so um, yeah, so I I drank the entire thing, and uh, yeah, I uh, I was feeling friggin' golden, felt amazing, and then um, I went to my family's house for a cookout and it was just our immediate family and like my mom and I was like wow I feel amazing like I was like it was like literally like I don't even know just I I felt like high as shit like I felt just crazy like I was drunk but like a really comfortable like confident but like anyways so I'm on this, and then um, I started kind of going, like, my body started kind of, like, just, like, it felt, felt like I was fucking melting. 
And that gave me anxiety because I was with my family. I had to act completely cool and um, like that slow motion drunk kind of. Yeah. Or not even. Or was it? It was. It was no, different yeah. than drunk. It was. It was. It was way worse because you're kind of coherent, but you're like, oh, why isn't my mouth working right? And but like your brain is like there. Yeah. Oh shit. And you're just like, what's going? And and then oh, and then no. it kicks into like your brain, like holy shit, I drank that whole fucking thing of Robitussin, and in your head. In movies, in experience from anything, that's probably too much to have taken into your body. And so I was like, oh, shit, did I just OD? And, like, I didn't know. So your brain – so I had a full-on panic attack. Like, I was ODing around my family, and, like, my body started shaking. And, like, all of a sudden I was like, I couldn't talk. And I was just like that. Like, I couldn't talk at all. And my um. And my mom was like, oh, you know, are you okay? You okay? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and like, my aunt was like, what is wrong with you? Like, what are you, what is going on? And I was like, I don't know. And like, she's like, your eyes have been like dilated this entire afternoon. What did you take? Did you smoke? And I was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, just off i don't even think i don't i actually really realistically i said it earlier but i don't even think i smoked that day i think i was so sick i just was like just took robitussin like that was it and so when i was, was this this was years ago now i mean this Before was college no. this was a year into college i think i mean that was one at my wildest i was probably like in a year into college that was when i was starting to do everything yeah. Yeah. um and yeah so so basically then my mom was like like they like googled it they were like because i didn't i i they were like what did you take and like they i think they thought i took something else that (laughs) and like and so like i couldn't like tell them like what exactly i had been on basically right and so you um, couldn't get it out no not at all and i like i was just like fuck your mom didn't your mom give it to you no 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 she she told me where it was to take a little bit. <laughs> to be fair, she gave it to me, but she didn't think I was gonna drink the whole Fucking thing. Enabling. And like, no, I know, <laughs> poor Nan. She was going through it. So, so then she was driving me to the uh, like a media care because we didn't even go to the hospital. We the the closest was in media care because we thought I was like full on like ODing, and um, like I was like I was sitting in the car. And, like, my mouth was, like, it felt like it was tiny, and I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, freaking out. Like, the fucking, it was, like, I was tripping in nutsack. It felt like I was on, like, a heavy, heavy, heavy dose of mushrooms. Like, like the buildings around me were, like, fucking shaking and, like, vibrating. And, like, I was, like, like look, I was just, st- I remember I literally have, like, snapshots of it, like, where I was staring at the road in front of us while she was driving. And she's, like, holding my hand, like, gripping my hand, like, you're okay, you're okay, like, you're, you're not going to die, you're not gonna die and my whole i'm like i don't want to die like i'm like screaming it like i'm fucking i don't want to die and i'm like holy shit like going through it like crazy this is something really i didn't want to put out in the public but you know here we are um and so yeah i i uh i yeah we we so i i got there and like we walk in and they're like hey we're like closing you can't come in <laughs> And I was like, Please. and they're like, oh my god, what's wrong with him? Like, like Jesus Is he Christ, fucking retarded. And so yeah, so Get the fuck out of so, here. So, yeah, yeah. And fucking yeah, yeah. Just did a mallet for some reason. Get a broom. Yeah. Go on, get get on, get out of here. And so um, they took me in the back. And didn't do anything. They just calmed me down. Basically, they just they basically they took my pulse and they're like, you're fine. I like, shut up, idiot. Mm. And they were like, what did you take? And I said, Robotus. I'm like, oh, you're robo tripping. And I was like, what the fuck is robo-tripping? And how have I, this is the first time I heard it. So it turns out that if you take enough robo and you start to robo-trip. I was like not at a place that I should have been robo-tripping. Like you can get up to like two bottles without any problems. <laughs> like seriously, like that's what they say, I guess, on the, if you if you give it a giggle. Any daredevils out there. Yeah. Um, if, if, you, if you have a... Uh, if you're unemployed, if your doctor, if your doctor if you're tells you, yeah, if you if you want some uh, robo trip action, it feels amazing for a little bit, but fucking goes really downhill. Your Anyways, mouth stops working. Yeah, so um, they call me down, and then I just remember just being shaken up like the entire like I felt like I was like hungover after. I don't know if you ever these have these hangovers where you still feel just like. I could die. I could literally die, like, today. Like, I feel horrible. Just, like, there feels like there's, like, a fucking a vice on your head and you're yeah. just, like, laying in bed. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, fuck. So, um, and then that's, I st- because of that, I stopped, 
officially, I, I like I, unless I'm at a party and I'm with a lot of people and I've had a few drinks, that's the only time I'll like have a, even a hit of a joint, you know, whatever. Or if I'm like done for the night and I'm already had a few, like it takes me to be basically having drinks to smoke weed. Other than that, I'm not like a stoner like a lot of my friends are and like a lot oh, of people, shit. you know, used to be. I just I, I prefer a white claw here and there, you know. Fuck. But, That's such a good story. Yeah, it's crazy. Holy it brings shit. Brings me back to the um the time. <clears throat> I don't know if you want me to say this story, which we haven't really talked about, but when we um we were painting in Kyle's basement. We already told this story on the podcast. Did we? Yeah, we already told this one. See, I can't remember. That's the problem. I can't. Yeah, I can't we already remember. told this one. But that's a good one. That's fucking, a good one. I'll talk about the fucking one that I didn't want to talk about. Um, with <laughs> a cousin or not cousin, but. Okay, a night with a, a family friend here. Let's call him Jimmy. Uh-oh. So Jimmy calls up my mom. He's in he's in pretty rough shape. He um he's uh he just said he was in rough shape, needed some family members. He was at at the bar, so I I mean she should have just disregarded it at that point because if you're at a fucking bar and you want like fucking emotional support it's already should just negate that because you're just being an emotional drunk person yeah you're just an asshole if you're but, drinking and you're emotional so and this particular i think it was a friday and we weren't doing shit but i think it was like seven o'clock and i still we still weren't doing anything so i was like fuck it i'll, I'll drop you off there and uh so jimmy was already at the bar for a couple hours and then i dropped my mom off uh Having not, I'm sorry. I'm just no, going to tip this towards me a little bit. Oh, just no, like, you don't gotta. Yeah, you don't you gotta. Can't really see my face. So we'll... That. Yeah. There we go. That's that's better. <laughs> but he was at the bar for a couple hours and um, dropped my mom off, and then I was just like, okay, just call me whenever you're ready. And yeah. then about half hour, forty five minutes. Okay, we're ready to go. And then I guess uh, just to pick her up, I wasn't aware if uh, Jimmy was going to come or not. But I had this thought in my head, just like those thoughts where you feel like, okay, this is probably going to happen, and then it, it it's exactly what happens. So I was like, this uh, uh, family friend, Jimmy, uh, he's going to come out of the bar, and he's going to, like, ask to drive the car. So, <laughs> yep. so yep. my mom and him come out of the bar, and sure enough, I didn't even know he was coming, but she's like, okay, yeah, here's uh, here's here's uh, Jimmy. Family friend, here he yeah. Here's Jimmy, and then um, he's like, ta-da, and he's like, yeah. you know, he's kind of drunk, so it wasn't as graceful. But no, he's he um, no. he's like, hey, uh, can I drive? <laughs> I'm like, no. And then he's like, okay, can I get in the back? I'm like, sure. And then so he gets in the back. Uh, mom gets in the front. We go to Sunoco. My mom needs to get some uh, some darts, some uh, Marlboro Marlboro Light 100s, the blue pack, for any of uh. Anyone that's feeling generous. Any of you super fans, <laughs> yeah. yeah if, if you want to send them to my PO box, I'll I'll get them to her. Yeah, we we're gonna drop the link below. By the yeah, way. right yep. there, right. Yep. Okay. There we go. There we go. And um, so we pull up to Sunoco. I have no. This is like a family friend. Like you see him around as a child, and you like, okay, there's that person, but. I don't know who he is or where, how he's in this family mix. Or you literally don't know any details. About yeah, no life, details. Right? I know the face. Yeah. I barely know the name. But okay, this is Jimmy, and then Jimmy's in the back seat. That's why, like uh, lately, I'm sorry to cut in, but I was just no. gonna say lately I've been trying to like kind of reach out to like family members more. Every time we're at like a family party, I try to like make my round and like talk to people more, just because I'm like. I don't even like. I know you, but I even don't though know you're like you. blackout drunk, so oh, like, yeah, I guess always. that makes it easier. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> anyways, go on, go on, go on, go on. But uh, so we pull up to Sunoco. Uh, this is a uh, family friend, Jimmy. Um, I'll just say just Jimmy for the rest of the uh, story's sake, so it's not as wonky. But so, like I said, Jimmy, I've seen him around. He's he's over here at the family party when I'm like ten years old. I see him. I don't know who he's related to. Who is his kids? Who is his wife? Who's who's he fucking? But so mm. <laughs> so we go from the bar to Sunoco. Mom needs to get cigarettes, and then uh, Jimmy's in the back seat with the window down. And there's this uh, this gentleman with like a family, and he's got like a, a a Mustang, and he's like, "What the fuck is this guy fucking looking at? Hey, what the fuck are you looking at?" Like he's kind of like saying it under his breath. And I'm driving, and my mom's like, "Oh my!" Like just like just like my mom's like, "Shut up! Shut shut the fuck up! Sh- shut up!" Yeah, just shut like it, Jimmy. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, no, he's like, oh, yeah, just like bullshit, you know, no, just trying to be funny. That. No, no, for real. Fuck but then that guy. so. Then my mom goes in the store, and I'm like, fuck, now I, I got to be in this car alone with Jimmy. 
And you know you those drunk people when they just like it's just like Pam, just like exactly just. I guess we should we could dedicate a whole podcast to Pam. We'll this do is this. Pam's we'll do, podcast. We'll do that. No, uh, we'll do a whole episode just telling Pam stories. Oh, because wow. that's like a whole. That's that's a like, that's like a whole. That's a whole hour idea. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that eventually. But wow, I love so that. yeah, that would be fucked. We'll, we'd have to get like so many different victims in here. But so no, f- we'll, we'll start ourselves talking about that. This is the, the next podcast. I'm literally gonna write like. Yeah, I need. That. I'm gonna write it down for mm-hmm. the next podcast. Just the Pam episode. Anyways, go on. So at the Sunoco and it's like, you don't want to, you hate when you're sober and then you're around like fucking, at this point, I just assumed that he was just drunk. That's it. But he was still being like over the top, just kind of like, you know, not aggressive towards me, but just very lovey dovey. Like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm like whatever. And you're, you know, family and shit. And I'm like, and he's like, if you ever need anybody to disappear, you know, just fucking (laughs) let me know. And I've known him for like, uh, I've known his name for a solid uh, 15 minutes, but I love the hospitality. I really appreciate. And he wanted. uh, When somebody wants to take someone's life, (laughs) if I tell them to. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but that's all that happens. Then they wanted to go to some concert and I was like, well, if I drop you off there, it was pretty far away. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to pick you up because I'm going to hang out with my friends. Yeah. So drop them off at a, um kind of like a little block party that my family was putting on. And I was like, okay, see you later. Yeah, and then and then we go, we go to 87 Buff, all of us playing darts, getting drunk, mm-hmm. pretty drunk. And then yep. fast forward to about midnight, we, um, I get dropped off by a pal. And then to my- Shout out Paige. Yeah. Shout out, <laughs> exactly. shout out Paige Reagan. Yeah, yeah, thanks Paige. Shout thanks out Paige. for the Paige. Um, so, uh, to my surprise, um, my mother is still awake, and uh, Jimmy is awake as well. There, my mom usually goes to bed at about, lays down at about seven, and this is midnight, and she's still up. That wasn't Bob on the phone, was it? Was that? That was my tile. Oh, okay, cool. The, I was probably just saying your lost item was found. It did say that. So, yeah, um, so to my surprise, my mom, Jimmy, up on the couch, just having one of those drunk. You know, kind of meaningless discussions. Yeah, that are just like way too emotional. For... You're like, I, we should hang out more. Yeah. I think that you're a really good person, and I would. Oh my god, your rock collection is just <laughs> inspiring <laughs> to like everyone. <laughs> you're like, oh my god. So I was going. So they're on the couch, and my mom's. You know, she's like getting her doing her rounds, ready to fucking go to bed. And Jimmy's got himself one of my little little plates, and he's got Uh-oh. a bunch of bunch of substance on it. Uh oh. <laughs> Jimmy's got a bunch of got a bunch of dirt on that plate. Uh oh. He's got a muddy plate. No, yeah, he's got a bunch of well, the opposite of dirt. Snow, snowy, yeah, huh? it was a, a snowy plate. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he had some of that shit on his plate, and he was like, he like showed it to me for some reason, and then it's like, hey, look. Yeah. <laughs> but then he, so he. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> like, like wanted me to to give him like approval or something. It's like, um, what do you think? Am I cool? But then he goes upstairs, plate, and then he comes down. He's walking down the stairs. He's got it behind his back, and like yeah. my mom's right there at the end of the stairs, and I'm like right here in front of the stairs. And he's like, it's so it's got he's got a hand behind his back, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, I got a hand. Look over here. Oh, oh, trying over to, here, trying over to be here. like some yeah. kind of fucking it's like doing a line, fucking of... retarded mag- magician or like the world's worst fucking. I don't even know. Do do mentally challenged people do like magic? They do do magic. Wow, they're gods. They gods at it? They're gods. Little magic trick. But he um, <laughs> he was walking down the stairs. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that was funny. Holy shit. <laughs> I need to I need a sip of fucking water. Jesus fucking really, Oh my god. You really he, pulled that out of your head. I got I got that I pulled that one out of my ass though. That was good. So he's fucking walking downstairs. He's got all the coke on the on this little plate and he's like, you know, trying to do you know just distract my mom and i was like oh 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 look at her <laughs> hand holy shit and wow then, what's that doing and then she goes up the stairs and then just me and jimmy again just Uh-oh. me 
and Jimmy. And Jim Dog. Me and Jimmy. Jim so Dog I'm like, Jimmy, yep. let's go sit on the porch. It's a little warm in here. It's a nice, beautiful night outside. Let's mm-hmm. go sit on the porch. Yeah. As we used to do. Back in the it's day. It's a great hang on the porch. And he was he was very he did not oh, want to. He did not want to sit on the porch. Why? He he, was, he thought that he would be seen, but he he wasn't really doing anything. He wanted to run a mile. He left his he left his plate inside. I think he cleaned it off, licked it clean, but um, uh, but um. <laughs> so he didn't want to sit on the porch, but he wanted to sit on my little chair and table set and next to the porch. So oh, okay. so we made a great compromise, and then we just sat out there, and it was the end of the night with. The with the pals, so I don't got any fucking beer. I don't got any back stock in the fucking fridge, and it's just me and Jimmy, dick to dick, just fucking sitting there. That's how and you should he be with starts, your uncle. What? I said that's how you should be with your uncle. Yeah, he's not your uncle. He's your no, cousin, right? But no, a family friend. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, he he's is. not even fucking all right. Anyway, just going, Jimmy. Sorry. Yeah, just Jim Jimmy. Dog, Jim Dog Millionaire. Yeah, he's just Jimmy. But um, okay. So he starts fucking unloading. How his wife uh, left him to have and, sex with uh, a lot of cool people, right? Yeah, and then so his wife left him, and um, she became a stripper, and now she's uh she's fucking blacks, whites, Puerto Ricans, all of it, I guess now, and that I guess it didn't go over well with him. So he's been he's Was been there a, one that he didn't like out of all of them. I don't know whatever whatever one had the biggest cob on him. I think that's what he had his uh. That's who he wanted to make disappear, I guess. I don't know what goes through Jimmy's head. The Asians? Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy. Could have a big Asian cob. I, I, I know a guy. I know a guy. Uh, his but, name is uh, uh, Zhang Chao. So, he, um, so he's telling me all this shit, and he's just getting into that drunk just banter sob story, and he just keeps reiterating. He's like, oh, I'm so fucked up right now. I am so fucked up. As I'm sure most of us, well, I mean, you don't say it over and over. I think that's when you start mixing alcohol and drugs. That's when you just start repeating constantly that you're just very fucked up. But then, yeah, and then he starts. Uh, so at this point, I know he does the stuff on the plate. He does coke. He's drunk, and then he starts telling me how he um how he smokes crack. Which I'm like, okay, like that's like he didn't have any you know, on rock, him. Yeah. He didn't have any on him. He didn't have any on him, but he's just telling me I'm like, okay, like like I don't and then fucking just like I mean it's your story's sad, so I mean you might as well fucking smoke some crack. I don't fucking know. I don't know how to comfort these people. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with him. Yeah. Go no, on. I wasn't gonna fucking blow him. But uh No, why would you? He didn't no, pay you. No, yeah. Give me a show me a dollar first. But then, well, he was giving me 20s. He was handing me 20s hand over fist just for no reason. Just wow. maybe he was trying to he was trying to insist. Yeah. Look at that. I didn't even see it in my drunken stupor. Wow. But he, yeah. so he's handing me all this money. He's fucking depressed, yeah. trying to cheer him up even though he's like, he's like, how long's your longest relationship been? I'm like, a couple months. And he's like, well, my wife of fucking 15, 20 years just fucking divorced me. So it's like, all right, you won. So quit asking me yeah. to tell my story because I know you yeah. got a worse story. Stop doing that. Yeah, right. You already you already bested me. Stop it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking stop, Jimmy. Stop it. You already you know what you're doing. Yeah, we we get it. You 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 went through a, uh, trials and tribulations more than we have. Like, can you? Yeah, uh, we get yeah. it. So then he's like, okay, where are the bitches at? Yeah, we're and the he's whores. like, he's about if I had to clock him. About 50. He says, where's the bitches at? Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't fucking know, Jimmy. What I just I was just hanging out with my friends, and now you're here. You're telling me your whole life. No, I don't know where the bitches are for you, Jimmy. I don't. Did you say that to him? I was just like, I just tried to shove it out. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. Just like keep, yeah, dude, just dude, like keep, keep your telling me. your pants. Yeah, just keep telling me how you like smoke crack. Just keep yeah. telling me about that stuff. But um. Oh, he does smoke crack? Though? No, yeah, he does, yeah. Oh, so he can hang? Okay. No, yeah, I mean. Um, I don't no, smoke so that. he's asking me where the bitches are that. at, and then he's um, he uh, then he suggests we should go to the strip club. Oh God! So I'm like, all right, Jimmy. Um, I don't really want to go to the strip club, but 
I want to go get some beers because we're sitting here and my mouth dry and your fucking stories make me want to fucking kill myself. So let's go get some beer and then then we, you can get a cab to the strip club. You know where I'm at right now in this story? I'm going to be honest. I want to hang out with Jimmy. I think it, he's gone. I think he went back to where he lives. He moved away. He's not here anymore. Well, I mean, not not like, no, cause not, it, cause, not like realistically that I want to actually see him right this second or anything. I'm just saying like... I feel like if you were in a better state, we would have completely been happy with his energy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he sounds like a fucking crazy guy. He sounds like a, he, he, sound, he literally sounds what, like. What do you a, mean a better? I was already hammered. I was drunk as no, fuck. No, but you were you were done for the night. You, yeah, I was tired. It, it, that's, that's what tired. I mean. Like, that's it, fair. Like, it's late. He caught me at 10 p.m. Yeah, and that's no, what but I the mean. story get uh, the story okay. doesn't end here. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not done. It's not I'm end. Sorry. I'm sorry, folks. He's he's not done. I was just saying that's kind of the vibe. Those. <clears> I'm like, all right, Jimmy, you want to go to the fucking strip club? I want to go get some beer. Let's go walk to fucking Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah. And also, if he hears this story somehow, I'm not going to be alive after. So just just know that he's going to murder him. Okay, he's um, getting, he's going to get whacked off. <laughs> He's gonna beat him <laughs> off. Death, He's gonna jerk him death off. Death by cum, fucking. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know mutilation. Yeah. yeah. But um, so I'm like, okay, let's walk to Seven Eleven. Like, okay, I'll. I'm listening. In his very in his very coherent state, like, okay, uh, we're gonna walk to Seven Eleven. I'll get the cab from there. We'll just say our goodbyes. Yeah. And then perfect. I'll go to the strip club. <laughs> I'm like, okokay, Jimmy, let's go. go. So we start walking, and he's just like, you know, just like, he's just like really amped up. And we get to 7-Eleven, we buy a six-pack of the Pounders, 16 ounces of uh, Miller Lite, and then we, uh, he didn't even buy them. Like, he had hand over fist, 20s in his wallet, and I'm pulling out my fucking bank card like a fucking dipshit. But <laughs> even though he's fucking giving me all this money, I should have just, I had all of his money in my, like, he was already handing me money at this point. Yeah. I should have just used that. Yeah, exactly. But, um, and then he's like... I don't want to go to the strip club anymore. Then I'm like, yeah, like what are you going to do? Then, then? What are you going to do? Jimmy? Then he's like, can I just sleep over your house? And I'm like, can I sleep over. So with then I'm, then I'm excited. Now I'm excited because I get to snuggle with Jimmy. Coked out Jim. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy the pipe. Uh, That's what they call him. That's so fun, then we're just so. walking back, drinking beers. And then of course we land back on the, on my little uh, table and uh, chair set in the front yep. of my house. Yep. Just drinking beers, and then he just keeps telling me stories, I'm telling fucking, me just all this guy. fucked up shit. Yeah. All this shit. He was telling me fucking everything. Telling me how big his fucking, how, how small his cock is. Telling me oh, fucking. Fuck, dude. That's so cool. Uh, telling me what it smells like. It was just. What did it, what did it? What did it smell like? It just. Like blue cheese? No, it smelled like. like, like if you, if you had a, if you had a pizza party with like a bunch of wings and there was, it was a hot summer day and you left the blue cheese out in the sun all day and then you had to clean it up later and some of you get on your finger and you were like well what's what's the smell of this and so you took a little of the blue cheese that was sitting out all day and you went is that what his balls smell like smelled like an old tarp smelled like an old boat oh smelled like an old chevy oh wow like what year 86 oh the best but so he's fucking he's just rambling just telling me stories and he's like man like I appreciate you listening to me and shit. And he's like giving me money and shit. Yeah. Just keeps giving me money. And he's like, man, and I am bill. so fucked up right now. And then he's like. So how much money did you come away with? Um, so I'll tell you in a second. Okay, but sorry. He, um, he, and then, so he keeps asking me to stay over. I'm like, fine. But then like, I don't know if my tone, he could kind of get the vibe that like, I didn't really want him to sleep over. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'll fucking, I'll fucking, um, I'll walk with you over to where the party was and I can just fucking dump you there just so I can fucking get rid of you. You fucking, you so, fucking drunk. <laughs> so we just, so we just started walking, um, same route that we had just come from that 7-Eleven and then I just stopped to take a piss and I'm like, yo, Jimmy, I'm about to take a piss, you know, watch, so, watch my six. Yeah. And, um, he just keeps walking. He just keeps I don't I don't know if he saw me or if he actually doesn't like me or he's just on his own mission but I still have so I'm taking a piss I got all this money in my pocket that he gave me and it's like I don't want to take his money even though I should have but he's so fucked up I wanted to go 
So I literally had to finish my piss, long piss when you're drunk, those long pisses. Yep. We all know. And then I had to fucking run to catch up you to You had the wherewithal to do this while you were drunk too, which is the craziest part to me that like you, you were like, I know there's like a moral drunk. to it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, like <laughs> yeah, you had like the moral like compass to like be like, okay, I'm not taking this asshole's money. But not anyways, that he's an asshole. How much? What? No, I'm not saying he's, he's an just asshole. fucked. I, I, I did not mean that. Like that. You know what I mean? No, I'll, yeah, no, I'll yeah, say that no, about, yeah. I'll, I'll no, say that about you. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't yeah, mean yeah, that yeah. you're an actual. But asshole. I don't want people to think. You know, Jimmy's just oh, fucked okay. up. Jimmy's just in a. Jimmy's just down bad, as the kids say. Yeah. He's down in the gutter. So. So I'm taking this piss, and then Jimmy's just on his own. He's just fucking well actually he was trying to call a cab to go fucking somewhere but none of the cab companies answered for some reason i don't know if his phone was turned off but none of the fucking cab companies would answer so i'm like fuck so we're so we're walking he's so never then, heard of uber so fast forward we're walking i don't know i think he might have had it like, i don't like those germans i don't know what that 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 uber shit is i think but... he might have had cricket cell- cellular that's why he was oh, having okay trouble. I, see, I see i see but um so I'm taking the piss. He's just jetting. He's just walking. Just he's got high stepping, big calves, and yeah. then I have to finish my piss, shake shake the dick, shake the dick, jerk it a little bit, and then I'm like, oh, Jimmy's fucking ten clicks north up the fucking street. So I gotta chase him down. Then oh, I'm man. like, hey, Jimmy, what the fuck, man? I'm taking a piss, and he's just like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let's just keep walking. Fucking yeah, that's where you know he's. <laughs> He's fucking gone. Uh, he's going, like, why? He's like, who the fuck are you? I'm like, okay, let's just yeah. keep walking. Okay. <laughs> we're good. As we were. Just pat him on the head. You're good, bro. Um, um so then we're yeah. fucking walking. I get him to the house that I'm dropping him off at. And then some other folks there that I know, they're like, hey, we'll take care of Jimmy. And I'm like, fuck yeah, because I didn't. We show up to this house. Well, first of all, we show up to this house. He's like, you knock on the door. I'm like, no, like we're trying to get you here. You fucking knock on the door. You're you're fucking seventy six years old. You fucking knock on the door. Yeah. So he knocks on the door. They let him in. These people are up for some reason at fucking three thirty in the morning. And they're still are they still partying? Or are they just no? Like... They're kind of winding down. They're like, hey, Jimmy, and then fucking he's like just gets in this lazy boy recliner and just like <laughs> his eyes are rolling eyes in the back of his head. This <laughs> yeah. fucking cock comes out and I'm like, okay, yeah. Jimmy's good for the night. Jimmy then I take then I take the sixty dollars and I fucking roll it up and fucking stuff it up his asshole, but I just handed it to him. And then I'm like, here's your money and he's probably just like like where the fuck why are you giving me money? This is like yeah. you're giving me how, money so right how now. Much, how much are you gonna tell me now? How much was it? Sixty. Oh, not much. Not that much, but I'm I mean, sure he was giving you twenties the whole night. And I was no, like, Holy he was shit, just, was he just a money? couple times. No, he did. He called. His, I don't know. He said, "Get me some blow." And yeah, you're like I'm sitting here <laughs> yeah. with you. What are you talking yeah, about? Exactly. He oh, had money, amazing. like he wanted to go to the strip club. Okay, so it's changing the subject a little bit, but I have a new theory that I've developed. But I didn't even finish the fucking story. Oh, I thought you were fucking done. Go no. on. No, Jesus. All right. No, and then so we drop him off, and then. Then the cousin or the fucking, the uh, the person's house that we're at. I don't know who the fuck they are. They're like, okay, we'll drive you home. And then and then I got dropped off. Oh, then the story. <laughs> you fucking bastard. No, I, I, I didn't want to leave it uncorked. I wanted to no, put a yeah, ribbon on yeah, it. Yeah, you wanted to have those family members are there. You're like, he forgot about us. Yeah, exactly. No, okay. They're not my family members. Oh, well, people you know then, right? At least you know them now. You know, people you met. I don't know. In what passing. What do you want from me? Well, they're not midgets. <laughs> um, so, 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 my new theory. Listen to me here. This is probably not some, like, rocket science shit. This is not even, like, anything crazy. But this is what I've been thinking about. I realize that a lot of times people want other people to drink. Like, for example, I want you to drink. Yeah. So you don't make an ass of yourself. And that goes for most situations, and not even not even a, a mass of yourself, but like so people don't feel like almost self conscious about themselves drinking alone, because other than like actual alcoholics, they don't give a shit. They just want to fucking party. But even then, it's still it's like a thing where it's like, oh come on, dude, sink on this ship with me. You know what I mean? It's like the Titanic. <laughs> it's like I want I want another musician to fucking finish off the ensemble because you know like the musicians went down with the ship fucking on the titanic so i i'm thinking also i this is also uh, a very cool factoid my uh my great uncle died on the titanic 
He was a violinist. That's not even. That's. I'm not even. I'm actually. I'm not even joking right now. Like that's actually a fact. We did ancestry. What a fucking gay instrument. Pick up a fucking tuba. Nah, they couldn't. He was probably. Was couldn't. he a Nazi too? No, he was a fucking Englishman. He fought the Nazis. He fought the Nazis. Just kidding. The fucking. Uh, it it sunk in 1912. That was way before that. But his kid did. His son who was a great man. His name was uh, Sergeant. Sp- Sprinkles, <laughs> but like like Sergeant Sprinkles, he was yeah he, he was uh, he peed on people, <laughs> he peed on the guys, but he got paid ten dollars an hour to he pee got on the people. Troops fucking fired up, and, woo, and he would pee on them. Sprinks, yeah, Sprinks, come sprinky. here, everybody, Sprinks is here. <clears throat> My mom is like, "What are you doing, you idiot? You doing another one of those stupid podcasts?" Yeah, mom, please don't. What are you gonna get with that in life? We're telling all our secrets here, but. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, because you want people to be, you want to be a level playing field with people. You don't want somebody to be sober, smart, handsome, sexy, and then you're just a drunk piece of shit. So you want to, you want to, you know, share the sugar. I always share the sugar. I agree. I always, I like to, I like to lay it down on them. I like, I like to bring alcohol from outside of the establishment into the bar in my waistband and then... Uh, just get a get a beer and then just like fill it up with the alcohol that I've embezzled into the into the establishment. See that works for some places, but then like fucking the the cheapest bar I've ever been to, which I'm not gonna name names, but it is called Eighty Seven Bar. <laughs> <laughs> and they pat you down now. <laughs> and they pat you well, down. that's just because people fucking die there now. Yeah, they 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 don't want guns. They don't. I don't think they care if they uh, they find a can on my cock. Um, yeah, they should be touching my cock. Uh, yeah. It's a free cock rub if yeah. you think about it. Oh Jesus. I you should just get back. a get a hardy and fucking yeah, and have what was he like a Middle Eastern dude at the door fucking trying to rub you down? Maybe he was Hispanic. <laughs> the fucking Why did that bouncer. Matter? I don't know. Why'd you to... If you got a fetish. Oh oh yeah yeah yeah. If if you're if you're a white feller looking to get patted down by a brownie, um, <laughs> come on through to eighty seven Bob. It's really cool. They got good music. They got brownies. Patted Niagara down. Falls hottest nightclub. Midgets, midgets, midgets. Dancing, dancing, dancing. One leg, one leg, one leg, one leg. Midgets. This night only. <laughs> Milf night. Midget night. This night, we're going to feature a bunch of horses we brought in from a stable nearby. They're going to be kicking. They got midgets on them. It's going to be electric. Tonight only. We're, uh, that was a word from our sponsors. Thank you for thank sponsoring Thank you guys podcast. for uh, giving us your, uh, your all. Yeah, thank you for giving us the rights to that song and that uh, advert. That was beautiful. Um, but I'm, I'm glad we covered those topics. That was because I wrote those down in my phone when I was driving to pick you up and I was like I want to talk about these three things and we those did it. Three things. So now we now we're just getting bonus here I think. Yeah. Maybe we'll bring it to 45 minutes hopefully. 45 minutes. We got about we got maybe we what got, time or, is or, it? we're going to go watch a soccer game soon. Yeah, um, we got some little bit of time. Maybe I'll bring on a celebrity guest. We're going to take a call from one of our viewers. Yeah, let's take a call. I'm going to wait till it. Uh, yeah. Hello? Hello? Hey, you're you're live on the podcast right now. Um, we took a call from a viewer because we knew that you wanted to call in. <laughs> it's your uh, it's your make a wish. What did you want your wish what to be? We it, know you only got a couple days left. You, we know you're you're gonna die soon. What would you want your wish to be? Yeah, you you are right because my liver's not holding up. I got about yeah. I'd say about twelve hours. Okay. So can you take me to the downer, the sun downer? Somehow well, I got to get a boat. We're gonna bring you there. What do you want? You want midgets Somehow there. What do you want? You want Puerto Rican people there. You want a priest there. What do you want there? What do you want the accou- want accoutrements? We're going to we're going to have a priest that's going to read you your last will and testament. <laughs> <laughs> we're going But before then, we're going to get it lit. We're going to have a bunch of stripper they got in that whole entire place. Oh my god, could we ever teach it to that? Like I mean, they're, they're mm-hmm. I I know her name. Her name is Shannon. You want them to dog pile on you? <laughs> you want a dog pile, maybe Shannon. 7 of them are sitting on you? Um Okay, well, are you are you could I could come and join a live podcast right now or not? I'm 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 coming right now. Uh, All right, the door's gonna unlocked. Be, he's going to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Put me in the hot seat, ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs> Spread him want. open. All right, we got you. <laughs> Spread him <laughs> eagle. 
<laughs> that, was, that was Robert Marino. He's gonna die soon. <laughs> He's got cancer of the liver. Cancer. I don't even know, man. I don't know where my life has gone to bring me to this point of doing a podcast. With, no, it's with with a fucking idiot, a dirty Frenchman, <laughs> a dirty, a dirty, a, damn, a dirty damn perverted dirty Frenchman. Frenchman. Uh, are you gonna ha- not have one of those? I bought, I bought, I bought this guy, a tall boy. I can't. And if he's not I gonna can, crack it right now, I can't drink on the podcast. Can we? Gotta, can we drop it in the? You got five minutes left of the I podcast. Got a, I got a big Christian there's three following. Minutes, there's, I got there's four minutes left of the podcast. I Come already, on. I already missed my son's You're birthday. You're not even feeling by the time we're done. I already missed my son's oh, birthday on the fourth of July. It was his, it was actually his fifth birthday, and then he oh um, happy birthday! I little missed little his fifth fifth birthday to drink birthday. Uh, to uh, drink uh, thirteen beers, and then it, I drank so much that it hurt my kidney. But I really, you know, I just wanted. I wanted to spend time with the kids, but I figured it'd be more fun if I just hang out with my friends. And it was. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And, yeah. you know, I haven't seen the kids since. I haven't really talked to them. I wish him well. Um, <laughs> yeah. If, if, if my fucking kid is, ever turns out to be a fucking gay guy, I'm going I'm to fuck fucking, su- <laughs> I'm gonna fucking support the shit out of him. I'm going to let him You're going to support it. him with your mouth? Yeah. I'm going to let him watch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna, gonna, be, gonna be a swinger when you get older, you think? What am I gonna be a swinger? Yeah, it depends on what my wife is like. If she's a fucking, if she's a dime, I'm not gonna slob. fucking share her. But if she's a slob, then yeah, I'm obviously gonna let her fucking do what she wants because she's not doing any better than me. But I mean, it's gotta. It, I mean, realistically, the, the margin is like. Realistically, I'm gonna end up with a, a slob because I'm. A, a bit slob. of a slob myself. Just a bit. Nah. <laughs> hey, hey. hey. That's coming from a goddamn dirty fucking Frenchman, a frog, French, French midget. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take this from a frog. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so did you hear that? Um, they're reopening um, Fantasy Island, which is if if anyone doesn't know what Fantasy Island is, fantasies, fantasies, fantasies. They have islands. Fantasies, fantasies, fantasies. In the uh, islands. Are they going to name it Neverland Ranch, and are they going to have a bunch of children there? Uh, fucking a guy named Mike Jackson. Oh no! I was on the. La- I, I remembered we were watching Finding Neverland, and that scene when there's like, yeah, he would like bend me over like at the side of the bed, and <laughs> he would lick my ass off. <laughs> that fucking that movie is so fucked. It's just like a cold interview, just like in a dark room, and it's they're like, just yeah. saying this most fucked up shit. Yeah, he. Uh... Michael Jackson would. Uh, yeah, and he's not even like emotional. Reach about into it. my uh, my pocket to ask if I had a piece of gum. I didn't have gum, and he knew that because I was on the ranch with him, and I got strip searched before yeah, I, I was entered naked. the ranch. <laughs> and uh, he reached over and he touched my child cock. Still, it was still pretty nice at that time. It was. It was. I was proud Fresh. of my. I was proud of the cock that I had at that time. And he told me. He whispered in my ear. He said. I just want some fresh produce. <laughs> and I just want to play Monopoly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like it's my what? turn. It's Yahtzee time. <laughs> and he, yeah, he reached for the cup. <laughs> yeah, Jenga. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Jenga. <laughs> it's Jenga time. He <laughs> he. It's Miller time. Ow! It's Miller time. And then, and then he bent him over. If then. you could, if you could reach for anything. What would you, you want? You want a white? We wanna, oh, you want you, a whitey? Oh, you, you want a whitey? <laughs> <laughs> little silly boy wants a whitey. Oh, I'm feeling real silly. Oh, I'm feeling Christ. like a. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Say something. Um. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! I just realized. Say something, Michael. I just realized I've never. Ridden a llama, and I've always wanted to ride. They a found llama. Neverland. They found Neverland. They found the Neverlands. They oh, yeah, never. Oh yeah, there were these. Um, <clears throat> there were these. Um, on the on the jet boat tour. Oh, there were these. Uh, these black girls. They were like the life of the party on the boat. Oh, and I love um, that. they would be the person on like the loudspeaker. They're like, all right, we're gonna fly, see this uh, experience this fifteen foot um, whirlpool. Are you ready? And she's like. Fifteen feet, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, <laughs> and like, and like, okay, we're gonna do a three sixty Hyman turn, a three sixty Hamilton. Yeah. 
And so, and there's like water in the. Like, <laughs> there's water in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, me and Tanner were laughing. Like, See, they were like the life of the party. Everybody was loving them. Fucking amazing. Everybody was loving them. Their my hair was like going like, in my Wah! mouth. <laughs> Hair was oh. going in my mouth. I was like, ah. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of hair was it? It was hot. Ooh. It was a hot toddy. But um, that I just remember that was that was so. Funny. I've always wanted they to were do that. Too. Life of the party. Life of the part. Oh, look at that! What time is it? It's forty-five, baby. It's forty-five minutes. We made it, team. We oh, do it. we just want to pack up? Then we won't see the the kid who's about to die. No, let's do it because we gotta go. Yeah. All, All right. right. Um. <laughs> Sorry. All right, uh, if I die after this episode, um, you know who did it.